Port Sudan, June 2008. Strange town. No tourist anywhere. That's really strange. A steep reef in the northern Suakin archipelago. 35 meters deep. We find a huge cave, a place for hiding white tip reef sharks. But Chamjuna was only the beginning of another tour into the deep southern area of the Sudanese Red Sea. We are on board the Italian liverboard Don Questo, going south again to the southern Suakin group. The GPS helps a lot, but still Captain Lorenzo has to keep an open eye on the unmarked reefs around. Since 2006, the Don Questo has organized tours into the deep south. And I am very curious to see how these great dive sites have developed since my first tour two years ago. It's about six o'clock in late afternoon when we are arriving at Habili Lori, a place that Captain Lorenzo discovered in 2007. Some dolphins show up and they are not alone. When you are entering the water at Habililori, you are surrounded by inquisitive silky sharks. following the anchor line. Descending into one of the most beautiful dive sites that I've ever seen. Big groups of surgeon fish congregate, making this a highly dynamic place, especially in the dusky hours. Every square inch is covered with life, teeming, unspoiled and simply irresistible. at Habililori, we saw this big school of barracudas.
professional coiffeur on board. What are you doing, Sandra? Fish, uh, make a plate off for the fish. Sushi? Yes, yeah, sushi at this night. Sushi at this night for everyone. Like everywhere in the seas, if you see birds, land is not too far away. The island of Darat Abid, the southernmost place that we will dive on our tour. At Daradabit, divers have been surrounded by hundreds of hammerhead sharks. Well, we were not that lucky, but Daradabit remains a grave dive site. A friendly hawksbill turtle. Every Red Sea diver will agree, this is the most dangerous fish in the sea. The giant trigger fish, especially in their breeding season, which is now. While other trigger fish behave totally different. But surprisingly, the big star of Daradebit is not a big fish. It was the world's biggest SpongeBob hiding in a small cave. Port Sudan, you should always ask someone before taking pictures, even if the picture's image is not a human being. What's up, man? You want to take pictures? I don't know. We have to ask to everybody. We have to ask. Yeah, but they're friendly. The deep south of Sudan is a diver's paradise. But even here, some clouds are beginning to darken the sky. This year, Captain Lorenzo has seen many Geminid fishing men coming into the south for finning sharks. And I'm sure they are coming more and more, especially now when I will finish, because for seven, eight months, no more uh, boats down there, unless only some uh, sailing boats uh, that are just passing through but they're not really scared for them. I've seen already the difference because uh, the time before we went to this uh, beautiful place called uh, Habili Lori and we found a nursery of silky sharks. There were uh, a total of 27, 28 uh, babies. And uh, two weeks later, when we came back uh, with the other group and I found uh, on the way the Yemenis that they ran uh, away, we dive again for several days, and I could see only five of them. And then this time, I think there were uh, seven, eight, and I've seen two baby silkies, one smaller than the other, with a hook. A 
arriving at Mazamrit Island, one of the best places in the deep south. its northeastern corner, a plateau stretches into the sea. Simply superb, full of life. We are getting close to the steep drop-off. If a slight current is hitting the reef, you may have a good chance to see hammerhead sharks. Still, you have to wait. Every dive at Mazamarit, we saw hammerhead sharks. Mazamrit Island turned out to be a highlight again, and the visibility got much better here. <laughs> Preparing for a dust dive at Mazamrit Island. Come on. Some fish and animals are going to sleep now. Others are waking up. A seldom clear fin lionfish. A hunting saber squirrel fish. Dive guy Julia has found something. A feather star. Walking. Very unusual, three young emperor fish swimming together. Black clownfish and some shrimp are hiding in their anemone.
Saskia, very elegant. Yeah. Very elegant. Thank you. No, really. It's not bad. I'm not kidding. Yeah. This is for what? Strong man. For a strong man? It's liver, huh? Can I get some It's not your liver. Yeah. I think I will... Wow. Let's go to the pool. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, how much? Same. Right. Okay. Okay, see you guys. Good luck. Wish the best to us. <laughs> yes. Mazamarit a small island 50 minutes away from Mazamarit Island. Kara Mazamarit's southern plateau. It's an explosion of life. Surgeon fish, glass fish, untouched soft corals. An underwater scenery that you won't forget. A common big eye. The name speaks for itself. This giant moray eel is cleaned by some striped cleaneress. Another giant, a giant sweet lip. Beautiful lionfish looking for incautious prey. And finally, humped parrotfish. After six days of diving, we are leaving the deep southern area. It's Captain Lorenzo speaking. Frankly speaking, I have to admit that this season, uh, I mean the 2008, uh, already finished the third uh, deep south. And uh, I have to say the average of the dives uh, were a bit less than the normal uh, other periods that we had on the last two years. Uh, this year, we didn't have so much rain and, uh, at the beginning, in April, in May, or in October last year. And this uh, made generally a different uh, water temperature and different type of uh, visibility and current through all the Red Sea Sudan. And I found out that uh, only in this 
last trip after six weeks, I started to see uh, getting the, the real condition uh, of the water, temperature, current on the south, meaning that uh, we finally got uh, colder water deeper, below 30 meters, 40 meters, and uh, less visibility down, uh, better visibility on the first 20, 30 meters, uh, so that increased a lot the quantity of fish. But some beautiful dive sites are still waiting for us. Like Sanganep. Yes, sir. <laughs> After 10 days living on a boat, walking becomes exhausting, especially when climbing to the top of a lighthouse. <sighs> but then you are rewarded with a very unique place of silence and tranquility. Something in English about this lighthouse? <laughs> no, no. It was very nice, a nice lighthouse. You can see all the lagoon, and that's it. Hmm. At least. Sailing to famous Shabrumi. It's sandstorm or what? Sand, yeah. Where does yeah. it come from? Coming from the mountains, then go all the cities, make city dirty. I don't know, but maybe from Saudi Arabia, stay three days, four days like this. We need the, well, we put to new other two chances. One is, of course, make Shabrumi South Plateau, okay? Two groups, normally there is a very nice dive uh, and it won't be a failure because it's always a nice dive. The other option is the con shelf on the west wall. Easy dive, we'll do it anyway tonight as a night dive. What do you think, more or less? South? South, 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 South. Shabrumi's Southern Plateau. Barracudas and grey reef sharks on every dive.
Since September 2007, Shagrumi has finally become a national nature sanctuary of Sudan. There are not too many dive sites in the world where deco stops never get boring. Sudan, June 2008.